This ARB 12 volt dual onboard air system is for those of you that have a 1987 and up Wrangler and are looking to run a tankless onboard air system. This is a dual compressor setup that's going to put out enough CFM at enough pressure that you can run air tools directly off of this without the need for a tank. This system is also designed specifically for those of you that are going to be running one or even two ARB air lockers. So this is going to come with a wiring harness that will feed directly into those air locker solenoids. This is also designed to be used with ARB's air manifold. Uh, so this is going to work really well as a part of a package with other ARB products. However, if you just wanted to run this to air up your tires, this is gonna do a really nice job because it moves so much CFM. If you wanted to use this in conjunction with a tank, uh, you can certainly do that. There are a lot of different options that you can use this compressor for. Now in the world of compressors, this one is going to be a little bit expensive. However, you are going to get a ton of quality from this compressor. And if you do plan on using this with your ARB air lockers and also as an onboard air system for tools and airing up tires, you're going to get all of the wiring that you need. Uh, to get that done, you're going to get your switch to turn your compressor on and off. So it is a very, very complete system. ARB has a couple of different compressors that you can run on your Jeep. They have a version of this that's, that is just a single compressor. So of course, that's just going to move less CFM. Uh, and then they have a very compact system that is designed just to run your air lockers, but not to be able to run air tools or air up your tires. So this is going to be one of the beefiest systems that they offer. When you are talking about airing up tires, it's not so much a conversation about pressure as it is a conversation about CFM. And this system, again, even without a tank, is going to supply three CFM at 90 PSI continuously. So that is enough to run air tools without having a tank. And I keep saying without having a tank because a lot of your other onboard air systems are designed to have one or more compressors feeding into a tank. And then from that tank, you can use a uh, air tool or air up tires in bursts and then you have to wait again for that tank to fill up. This is a system that is designed to be continuously giving you high CFM at a workable PSI. On top of all of that, you're going to have all of your wiring harnesses and all of your weatherproof connectors that are designed to set this thing up. So you pick up power and you can set up your switch. You can go right into that ARB air manifold. You can run your uh, air lockers. All you really need to be able to do from this is go from that manifold to the lockers with a little bit of plumbing. The installation of this compressor is gonna be a pretty simple one out of three wrench install, even though you will have to do a little bit of drilling to get this mounted up. You are gonna to wanna to make sure that the compressor is mounted in a nice solid location. And to help you do that, ARB does provide you with a template so that you can mark and drill wherever you wanna get this mounted. And a lot of people will mount this inside the cab underneath the seat, just drilling through the floorboards. And that is a good place to mount this. It's going to keep it dry. It's going to ensure that the air coming into it is as clean as possible, even though this does have some air filters. Um, and this is very, very quiet because it is so well built. So having it mounted in the cab isn't going to be too much of an annoyance. So the first step is really figuring out where you wanna mount this thing. And part of that will have to do with what you're going to be using it for. If you're going to be using one of the ARB manifolds to power uh, two different ARB air lockers, or if you wanna be able to plug into this for onboard air or tools. So you wanna make sure that you have things accessible. If not the compressor, at least your manifold. So choose the location for the compressor, lay out the template, mark and drill your holes, get the compressor bolted down into place. After that, you have your main wiring harness over here where you're going to have to pick up a 12 volt source and also a ground. That'll get plugged into your main harness over here to actually power your compressor. And you're going to have your switching harness over here. That's going to have the switch to actually turn your ARB compressor on and off and also the ability to turn two ARB air locker solenoids on and off to be able to switch those lockers on and off. So with this, you have all pre-terminated ends except for where you're actually picking up power on your main power harness. Everything else is going to be pretty much a plug and play setup, so not a ton of wiring involved. And even though you do have to do a little bit of drilling, I'm still gonna stick this at a pretty simple one out of three wrenches. Chances are, if you're at a place where you're installing something like this in your Jeep, you're gonna be okay popping a couple holes in the floorboards. This compressor is gonna be a little over $500, but when you consider the fact that it's really two compressors built into one, it comes with this really nice wiring harness. It's going to work very easily and very cleanly as a part of your onboard air system that will also run your ARB air lockers. 
it's going to be a lot of bang for your buck. You can certainly get some other onboard air systems that are going to be a little bit less expensive. Some of those will include um, a tank, a gauge, some of those other things. But in my opinion, if you already have some ARB stuff on your Jeep, you want something that's going to integrate very easily, this is money well spent. So if you're looking for a very high quality dual air compressor on your Wrangler, this is going to be a great option from ARB that you can find right here at extremeterrain.com.